This is the BTEC Tech Award and we are looking at component three, the examined one and the finance part and in particular cash flow. Cash flow is quite straightforward. We're just going to predict the future for a business. So if we have a look here, cash flow forecasting is predicting how much money a business will receive and pay out over a certain amount of time. So in the same way that you would be able to predict how much money you might have next month and how much you might spend next month, businesses do the same, just so we all know where we stand. So I've got Bert here, and we're going to predict his financial future. First of all, we look at how much money he has. He's got a job and he's, he takes home £1,500 a month, lucky Bert. However, Bert has to pay rent and bills at £700 and £200 on food and £200 on travel. So his income is £1,500 and his outflows are £700 plus £200 plus £200. So he spends £1,100. So that means if we're predicting Bert's financial future, each month he has a spare £400 which he could save. So we're going to look at businesses in just the same way as we've looked at Bert. We're going to learn some specific words to use when we're doing it and a process of how to do the calculations. But bear in mind, it is just looking at how much money you've got in, how much money you've got out and working out the difference. So if we first of all start off by, um, we're going to plan to see how much money a business expects to receive and pay out. And the money that they receive has got a special name that we're going to call and it's called cash inflows. So cash inflows are the money a business will receive. And they could get it from various places. They could get it from selling things. So Domino's Pizza will get cash inflows from customers buying pizzas. Businesses might take out a loan, which will also give them a cash inflow. So Domino's might borrow £10,000 to buy a new car. That would be a cash inflow for them. They could get a grant from the government. So it's, it's like a gift from the government, a grant or they could sell shares. But the main way that businesses will get cash inflows is from sales. The money that they pay out is called cash outflows. And this could be paid out, it could be paid out as wages. Most businesses have to pay wages. It could be buying stock. So businesses will need to buy stock in so they can sell it. It could be repaying loans. And it could be bills, but there's loads and loads of different cash outflows that a business um, could use. So we're going to have a look at an example now. We're look at, going to look at Skate City's cash flow. So they have predicted, they've sat down and thought about how much they're going to sell in the future. They reckon in their city shop, Skate City shop, they're going to sell £10,000 worth of skateboards and clothes in October, 12000 in November, and 15,000 in December, you've got Christmas. They've just started their online business, so they're selling a bit less, and they expected to get 2,000 in October, 2,500 in November, and 5,000 in December. So those are our cash inflows. And on your cash flow forecast, we'd write the title cash inflows, October, November, and December, and then we will fill in the two categories. So we have shop sales, ooh, October 10,000. And then we have November is 12,000 and December is 15,000. So I'm putting the category and just filling it in. So then I do the online sales and we have 2,000 and 2,500 and 5,000. Now those are the only cash inflows they have received in those months. So to get the total cash inflows, I add them both together. So 10,000 from shop, 2,000 from online. My total cash inflows in October were 12,000. And in November, 14,500. And our best month is December. And we have 20,000 pounds worth of cash inflows in that month. We're now going to have a look at their cash outflows. And you can see they have four cash outflows. Wages, stock, 
bills and advertising. And we're going to fill it in in just the same way by putting the title of the outflow there like wages. And wages are three and a half thousand in October and November, and then they increase to four and a half thousand in December. They need to buy stock in each month, and in October it's five thousand, November six thousand, December seven and a half thousand. They have bills of five hundred pounds a month, always stays the same, and advertising, which is a thousand pounds a month, that stays the same. So just like before, we total up our cash outflows. So in October, £10,000, November, £11,000, and £13,500 in December. We're now going to calculate the net cash flow. That's taking all the inflows that you've already added up and then taking away from that the outflows to see how much money they have left every month. So you can see in October, they had cash inflows of £12,000 and cash, out, cash outflows of £10,000. So 10 from 12 is 2. So we have a net cash flow of £2,000. If you see in November, they had 14500 They paid out 11000 so they had 3500 left over. And then finally, in December, they earned £20,000. They paid out 13500 We have a net cash flow of 6,500. So net cash flow is inflows minus outflows. The final thing we need to do is to find out how it affects their bank. And at the bottom of your cash flow, you have two categories. One is called opening balance. The opening balance is the money a business has at the start of a month. And then we have underneath it the closing balance, which is the money a business has at the end of the month. And we are going to calculate both of those. Now, our business has started with £500 in its, in its um, bank at the beginning of October. And we now need to work out how much it has at the end of October. So to do this, to get a closing balance, we add the net cash flow to the opening balance. So £2,000 plus £500, they have £2,500 as their closing balance at the end of October. Now, on the 31st of October, they have two and a half thousand pounds. And when they wake up on the 1st of November, they will still have two and a half thousand pounds. So you get the opening balance by taking the closing balance from the previous month. So we're now going to work out the closing balance for November. The opening balance is two and a half thousand pounds. Their net cash flow is £3,500. We add the two figures together and we therefore get £6,000 as their closing balance. The closing balance becomes the opening balance. So £6,000 and then to find their final cash flow closing balance, we have to add the two figures together and we get an answer of £12,500. Now that is an introduction to cash flow. And if you can do all that, you've pretty much broken the back of it. Well done.